Did you know that the United States ranks 65th globally in overall life fulfillment? That means most Americans do not feel fulfilled in life, and we want to help change that. So we brought in a Wall Street Journal and USA Today bestselling author and peak performance expert who dedicates his life to helping people shift into their highest gear and reach their full potential. Yes. Please welcome Dr. Della Toro. <laughs> What's up, man? How are you? Fantastic. That, that, bro, you look so cool. It's hard to He's do the so interview. Cool. It's like, I'm going to be a professional, but you look great. All right, now, before, Thank we, you, Chair. Thank before, you. before we get you know get all into it, Doc, tell our audience what it means to be a peak performance coach since it's not a career that you hear every day. Absolutely. So peak performance is literally our ability to improve ourselves by 1% each and every day. See, I believe that every single morning that we wake up, life gives us one open invitation. Will you be better today than you were yesterday? So peak performance coaching is all about, I help corporations, associations, conventions, pro sports teams take their best level of performance and top it. And I teach them this through the help and the development of habits, relationships mm -hmm. and having the right mindset. Dr. McNeil, I love this stuff. I love exactly what you're talking about. And you wrote this book called Shift into a Higher Gear and you're riding yes, a motorcycle and you compare life <laughs> to riding a motorcycle. So what specifically are you referring to? So cars are cool, motorcycles are way cooler. I've been riding my motorcycle for 12 years, no accidents, right? So here, here's, the, here's the deal. Automobiles come with way too many negative options. See, a motorcycle only comes in drive. When you get on a motorcycle, the only direction you're going in is forward. A motorcycle only knows forward. A motorcycle only knows tomorrow. It only knows next. It only knows growth. Cars, on the other hand, automobiles, come with other less productive gears. Cars come with reverse, park, and neutral. And those are three very counterproductive gears that if we find ourselves in life and business in those gears, Jeff, we will not succeed and we can't go to the next level. Wow, I love it. I love how you explain that. That's how I feel about my snowboard. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know anything about motorcycles, but I feel that way about my snowboard. Okay. Um, right, exactly, now, America. Apparently, the average person has 65,000 thoughts a day, and a lot of those thoughts are negative and full of excuses. I'm guilty. So what effect does that have on us? It has a massive effect. Please be very clear about something. There is nothing more expensive than the excuses that we make about why we cannot have what we want in life or business. And one of my old gym teachers said it like this. He said, excuses are just like dirty gym socks. Everybody has them and they all stink. <laughs> I heard that <laughs> said a different way. <laughs> so what we have to learn how to do is see, an excuse is defined as an elaborate justification as to why we don't go after the things that we want and need in our life and business. And so what we have to learn how to do is replace excuses, excuses like I'm too old, I'm not good enough, I didn't come from the right background, I'm not smart enough, I don't have enough money. We have to learn how to replace those excuses with powerful declarations. And the reason why in the book I compare excuses to the kickstand on a motorcycle is because anytime you engage the kickstand on a motorcycle, it stalls the engine of the motorcycle of your life. So anytime you use an excuse, you stall the engine of the motorcycle of your life and your business. So what we have to use is a psychological phenomenon called cognitive reframing. When you use cognitive reframing, you replace, you find the good in a bad situation. So instead of saying, oh, I'm too old, what you say instead is a positive declaration, which is my old and past experience allows me to start smarter. Nice. Instead of saying, I, come from, uh, I don't come from a good background, what you say is my geography does not determine my destiny. Uh. Instead of saying, I don't have enough money, what you say instead is there are resources all around me and the universe conspires to bless me financially. You replace the excuses with execution. I love that. Doc, you have like 30 seconds left. I just want to ask you this. I, I'm with you on the habits and on changing that, but I get triggered by stuff and I spiral. Tell me how to get out yes. of that. I'm draining, the, circling the drain there. How do I get out of that with my habits or whatever you think? Fantastic. As soon as you find yourself going negative, which happens to all of us, use the flip switch technique, which means Find a way to change your physiology because physiology determines psychology. 
In other words, get up, get out in sunshine, increase your heart rate, do something to put yourself in a gratitude and grateful state because gratitude is an emotional trump card. It will trump any other negative emotion. Wow. Just listening great. to you, it. Dr. Yeah. Del Toro, like you're yeah. so great. motivating. That, Our viewers are chiming in left and right you. saying they could just listen That's to your advice. voice all just day. Just get up. A lot yes. of times you're having a negative Yay, Sam, thought, you're thank like you. sitting there. Yeah, I'd love just that Just move advice. your body, whatever you can thank do. You, and can That's I great. say he signed our book? Oh, yes. that's so exciting. <laughs> thank you so much, Dr. Del Toro. We appreciate you. DBL Nation, pick up your very own copy of Dr. Del Toro's book, Shift into a Higher Gear. Better your best and life, live life to the fullest. You can also find him on YouTube at Della Toro. We will be right back. Thank you You're so awesome, much, man. Doc. Awesome. Thank you. Honor indeed. Thank you so much.